I'm Connor McClendon. Hey! Welcome to Hamptop. Y'all ready for this? This week, for the final episode of Hamped Up, I talked to NHS Juniors Claire Babbitt Bryant and Oscar Fisher about playing for the Ultimate Frisbee team. Uh, so your team just won the Pioneer Valley Invitational. You had to play seven games in two days. How challenging is it to play so much in such a short amount of time? Um, it's definitely a challenge. Um, it requires a lot of team endurance, but it was really helpful to have uh, the JV girls um, girls team come up and help us out for um, Saturday and Sunday because uh, we played some less competitive teams on Saturday, and so they really helped us out by saving um, our legs so we could play really hard on Sunday. Uh, so you beat Four Rivers in the championship, and that was a team that beat you guys pretty easily in the first game of the season. So what have you seen from your team in terms of growth and improvement over the course of the year? I think overall our flow um, as a whole team has gotten a lot better, and we also understand the way that we all play a lot better. And also um, on the first game, we were missing three of our best players, um, and so that was definitely a challenge. So the boys' ultimate team this season has suffered a lot of injuries. It feels like you guys are almost losing a player a week. How challenging has that been to deal with? Um, it is really challenging, you know, when half of your starting lineup isn't playing in the next tournament. But it's definitely given us a lot of opportunities for young players to step up and fill these starting roles. So you lost senior James Berger early on in the season uh, to an arm injury, and it looked like he might be done for the whole year, but now he's coming back for the state tournament. How big will it be to have him back on the field? It's super big. Like, it's great. He's not only, like, a great player, but he's really present and makes us play better as a whole. And it'll just be really great to have him back out there playing at states. So you just had the Pioneer Valley Invitational. It's a huge tournament. There's teams from all over the country and a few teams from Canada even. What's your favorite part about that whole experience? It's really cool to look around and see all of these teams. There's just, it, it fills up the entire Oxbow Marina, so it's a huge area. And seeing all of these teams and thinking like they came here to Northampton to play in our tournament, it's really, it's a really cool thing to see. I just love being able to uh, meet a lot of new Ultimate players and just uh, verify how um, incredibly popular Ultimate Frisbee is getting. It's really cool. Um, also, the party on Saturday night is really fun when all the teams come and then we eat together and then we um, have a little dance thing. Uh, so that was really exciting. All right, great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. Thank you. I would like to address some rumors that I have heard circulating around the school that there is a hamped up curse. Basically what I've been told is that people believe that when a team comes on hamped up, they are doomed to lose their next game after their episode airs. So I took this a little personally and I went back and I did some research and looked up how teams did after they came on my show. And what I found is there may actually be some truth to this claim. Teams that came on Hamped Up were a combined 14 and 15 after their episode aired. So, a losing record, and I am sorry for that. Finally, I would just like to give a big thank you to all of the NHS athletes that came on Hamped Up. I would also like to thank uh, the Springfield Thunderbirds organization and Pioneer Valley Roller Derby, and last but certainly not least, the grandmothers of Ryan Braden and Cyrus Carey.